horrible lighting in my bathroom. It's honestly trash, but I am starting a weekend in my life today. It is currently Saturday, March 5th. And this morning I woke up, I made the bed, took a shower, and now I'm about to do my skincare and thought I would kind of show you guys what I'm doing. I am not a skincare expert by any means. In fact, I have struggled with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, acne my entire life. And if you watch my videos, I'm sure you've noticed that I have lots of marks on my face. I don't typically have a lot of like big breakouts, but when I do get breakouts, or the small breakouts, like the little pimple here and there. I mess with it as we do, and it leaves a scar. In the shower, I use CeraVe face wash, the light blue container, and then every other day, I use a St. Ives exfoliator to kind of get all the stuff out. Once I am out of the shower, I use a toner, and this is the toner that I found here in China. Excuse my ashy hands. It is from Watson's, which is a like um almost like a cvs and it's niacinamide illuminating and hydrating moisturizing toner so i just used that on a cotton round i've already done that and then these are the three serums that i use almost every single day i got them from a wechat seller so they're like organic natural products so i do use a hyaluronic acid and i also use a retinol and then a vitamin C serum. So I'm going to put those on my face now so I can look like a good old glazed donut, if you know what I mean. I don't know what order I'm supposed to put these in. I mean, in my head, the order of the serums don't matter because they're all serums. And I mean, what are you gonna do? But I do hyaluronic retinol and then vitamin C on top, followed by my moisturizer. My skin here is so dry, which is the complete opposite of how it is in the States. In the States, it's literally like oily. Like I could fry some chicken on my face. <laughs> here, it's the Sahara Desert on my face. <laughs> so yeah, it's totally different. I use the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. I just do like a little pump. And then I got this like hydrating and soothing essence from the brand Olive, also from Watson's. And I just do like one pump of that with my moisturizer and it just makes it like a little bit creamier and like it just glides on my face and gives me a good shine. Makes me feel like I'm doing something with my skincare. Also, I do have this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado. So I take that with my ring finger because that's how the beauty gurus do it on YouTube. And I just rub it in. This one was kind of weird at first because at first I thought I was like, did I not wipe my face off because it feels like it's turning into like water? But I think that's just what it does. Like it just turns into like a watery liquidy consistency as you rub it in it does feel really good so i do that put it on my eyelids and then my last step bougie right super bougie i have the laneige lip cream and i take this and i had like a little like dipper thing to put on my lips but i don't have it right now so i'm gonna use the back of my nail like the hood girl I, mean, I am. Not hood at all, guys, not hood at all. Put it on my lips. There we go. Wow, this lighting could not be worse. But yeah, super shiny. I look like I have been beat up with how dark my eyes are, but you know, that is life. As a teacher, where the kids suck the youth out of your very soul. So yeah, that's my skincare for the morning. Um, we have an exterminator coming because we live in the hood and this building is old. We keep our apartment super clean. We have a housekeeper that comes every other week and it's springtime here. It's getting warmer and then bugs coming out. So I don't do that. I don't play that. If you know me, you know, I am terrified of bugs. So we have an exterminator coming to hopefully, you know, 
slow them down a bit. They'll still come because like I said, I live in the hood, but hopefully the exterminator will slow them down a bit. So he's coming in about um, 30 minutes or so. But the last step that I do is I take this spray bottle, it's filled with water and jojoba oil and I just spray my locks with it. My locks are also struggling. They're dry and also they have a lot of buildup in them. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do some sort of a detox to get all of this buildup out. Um, still in the process of figuring that out. So yeah, I'm just going to take the spray bottle and just haphazardly spray my hair. Okay, food has been ingested. Like literally, I inhaled that food. I was so hungry. Um, but now I need to put some clothes away. Like always, Devin washes clothes every single day, which is great, but not good for people like me who never put my clothes away. So I have a big laundry basket on my bed, as well as a stack in the living room. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then chill. got some Starbucks delivered. Devin <laughs> is napping as he does. He just woke up because I'm too loud. Sleep time. I always get a vanilla latte with oat milk. Iced now that the weather is warmer and I'm over hot coffee. So I'm gonna drink this Maybe pop some ibuprofen for these cramps, but probably not because I can manage these and I need to preserve my ibuprofen. Um, and then when Devin wakes up, we're going to film a Q&A that will be up tomorrow before this video is up, actually. I'm not sure if I've talked about this on my channel, but I am currently taking a certification course through Harvard Graduate School. It is for instructional leadership. So... I am starting my second course today, which is called Teachers Mentoring Teachers, and I actually started it on Thursday, but um, some of the activities are due on Sunday and some are due on Wednesday, so I figured I could spend a little bit of time every Saturday getting some things done, finishing things on Sunday, and then working on things throughout the week as well. Um, so I'm going to just sit here, get started with some activities, maybe check one thing off the to-do list just so that it is done and I don't feel stressed tomorrow having to fit everything in. And yeah, I'm going to do that and then continue just being a lazy bum because it is the weekend and I deserve it. makeup for the first time in almost a year. Can't really tell because I didn't have my right shade so I had to improvise a bit but So I've been vlogging on my phone today because it's been easier, but I am off to a dance class. I went to brunch earlier. Now I'm about to go meet my friend for dinner and then we are taking a dance class together. So I will try to get some clips, but I am running late. So I got to go. Yeah, I am. I am posting this. 
Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. told me about her. 